So uh, I think there are a number of ways in which we can use data, continue to use data to improve delivery outcomes. I think that, you know, when I look at the progress we've made in this country over really the last 20 years, 15 to 20 years, we've been using data to, to produce performance measures or quality measures. Um, we've incorporated patient experience and patient satisfaction into our sort of uh, uh, data toolkit. But what I don't think we've done, particularly in an area like oncology, is merge these various data sources. So for example, I think we're going to see more and more merging of clinical uh, information along with patient preference information, along with information about kind of the uh, episode of uh, information and treatment decisions made by patients. So what we typically have today is we have clinical measures that are isolated from patient experience measures. And we might have, for example, a patient uh, satisfaction outcome that shows a high or, or medium or low level of outcome, but we don't merge that with other data to really understand both what was part of the decision-making process and, and how much uh, discussion there was with the patient on treatment alternatives. I think we're going to see more marrying of those three sources of data, and I think that's going to give us a richer sense of ultimately not only what patients want and how that influences the outcome, but also what providers are doing or the variation across providers in incorporating patient preferences a little bit more. So uh, it, it's difficult because these data sources aren't necessarily collected in tandem or designed to be combined, but I think we will see more of that uh, going forward, particularly as we think more about um, using data across episodes of care or conditions rather than in isolated uh, events where we're focused just on a specific clinical indicator.